Hello and welcome to the fifth video in Mr. Barton's autograph tutorial series. Today we're going to complete the set by looking at our final transformation which is of course translations. Now you'll notice that I've finally resolved this screen size issue. The screens were too big for people to see so I've used a nice little uh, free tool that I found called Sizer. So I'd strongly recommend if ever you want to reduce a window to a certain size, in this case 800 by 600, just Google Sizer and uh, um, it's a pretty good tool to use. Anyway, on with translations. So I've got my autograph screen here, get rid of the key as usual, check them in equal aspect mode, looking good, and let's bang ourselves out a shape. So scatter a few points on here, do 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 do. I think we'll just keep it simple and, oh no, let's whiz a little top on our house. Um, I've selected the points in order, so hopefully a bit of marquee select. Right click and group to shape should give me a nice looking shape. Perfect. Now, in order to do a translation on autograph, you need to define the vector that you want to translate the object by. So to do that, we just pop a point anywhere on the screen. So I'm just going to whiz it down here somewhere. Now that point selected there, it's got the little square around it. So if I right click, I should get the option Vector from the menu. Now, and I get this Edit Vector window. So I'm going to go for a vector of, let's think, let's go for 3 and 1. So 3 to the right and 1 up. Click OK, and there's the vector there. Now I need to tell Autograph that I want to translate this object in this vector so both of them need to be selected so I click on the object all the points around it light up to say it's selected and I'm in whiteboard oh I'm not in whiteboard mode so I'm gonna have to hold down shift and I will select this vector so that object selected that vector selected and if I right click now I should get the option to translate click on that and there it is now what's really nice about this the way autograph does this is I can actually grab the tail of this vector and I can drag it over here to show that every single point has been translated by the same vector which is quite a powerful tool and of course if I want to change the vector I just double click on that and I can change it to minus two minus three or whatever I want and again the vector updates and so does the translated object and there is translations on autograph which completes our set and next time, let's look at putting all these things together. See you later. Bye-bye.